We're going to hear now from the Republic of Ireland manager, Martin O'Neill. This is live from the tunnel area. Martin, I can only imagine what the uh, dressing room must be like at the moment. We had a quick word with uh, James McLean and I'd say everybody is absolutely devastated. Yeah, we were well beaten in the end, no question about that. Obviously got off to a great start and perhaps maybe James' second goal might have, been, might have made a big, big difference in the game. However, we've conceded two real sloppy goals within a period of a couple of minutes and um, it was a long way back after that. When we scored, as you say, um, there was a couple of other chances to, to increase the lead. Yeah. But once we conceded, did the psychology get into the players' heads, do you think? Because it's, it's a lot to think about. Well, it, I don't know about psychology, you keep talking about it, but but when the, the goals are so sloppy. If you see them back again, they're so, so bad. You know, we've, there's two and one for a corner, then Harry gets beaten in the fine, OK, but we still, we, I mean, we, should, we should still be able to clear the ball. And we haven't done that. And then the next, the next goal is just a comedy of, of mistakes. So... And that's so unlike us. I mean, it you proud, pride yourself on, on our defensive setup. Of course, and in a game of such importance as well, too. But that, you know, the whole mindset then changes. You know, it's two, you're 2 1 down within a period of a couple of minutes, when perhaps you thought six, seven minutes earlier than that, there you might have been 2 0 up. At half time, then you made two changes. You took two of your central midfield players off. Was that like a, a throw of the dice? How did you feel that was going to affect the game? No, how do you feel? Because we have to try and create something then as well too, if that's the case. And obviously we, uh, you're, going to, you're going to keep Murphy on a centre forward here because we have to eventually try and get the ball into the penalty area. And you're just hoping that uh, maybe that, um, that Wes might be able to work something for us. And the same with, uh, the same with um, uh, McGeady. But looking at how dangerous Denmark are, and we see how good Ericsson is, and we know how good he is, taking off your two central midfielders? Well, that's, that's, that's the name of the game. We have to go for it, you know, where there's uh, no point in dying wondering at the end of the day. So we, we still have a chance in the game. We have to try and get two goals back. Remember, two goals are not that easy to come back. It became something of a shambles after that. Would you say it was a humiliation? I would say we were well beaten. And looking to the future now, I mean, you'd imagine that some players will be thinking about retirement. Um, we were beaten 6-1 by Germany uh, under Trapattoni. It's very hard to come back from this, isn't it? I know it's not very hard to come back from that. No, we're capable of coming back from it. You know, so um, we've been beaten. We've been beaten in a playoff game as a Germany came and, and, and won convincingly. We've actually beaten Germany here just not so long ago. And so, no, we've been well beaten tonight. In the end, we've lost a playoff game to try and take us to the World Cup. We can come back again. But when you look back at the campaign, the fact that we've um, we lost the lead against Serbia, lost the lead against Georgia, we couldn't beat Austria here, we couldn't, Serbia beat us here. Um, we couldn't beat Georgia. So, I mean, these are the issues when you look back at the campaign. A year ago, we were in a very good position. I think that, uh, I, I really don't, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to say here because we've been beaten, we've played 24 games in qualification in the last two years. And we've been beaten four times tonight, being the fourth time we've been beaten. So there's 20 other games then that, that, uh, that we haven't been beaten in. Is so it we are in, a, we're in a playoff situation. That's exactly what we were in. So we won some games away from home. We might not have won the matches in the Aviva here, but we've won matches away from home. And so that was hard work. It's always hard work at the end of it all. And you keep going back that we, we conceded. We scored in the first minute against Serbia. We, and then, you know, Real Madrid and Barcelona can concede in the first minute and, and come back, or they can actually score in the first minute and lose the game. That does happen. This is international football. This is big, big football. I think you should got to realise that. This but is massive. The, Just let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. But actually, remarkably, we came back and drew 2-2 with Serbia. We got a we got a, a, a goal against Serbia. Serbia won the group. We've gone to Wales and won. We took the lead against Wales. Didn't 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 concede then after that. So I think that your argument is back and forward there, Tony. That's the point. I'm wondering. We've, just let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. This is the, I'm very important for you to know this. And this is tough. This is really tough. We find it tough at the end of the day. We are usually playing against sides of superior quality, usually. We have got a great old spirit in here. We were well beaten tonight. We could have been 2-0 in front. It might have been a different story. Hence, goals coming to change games. That's the thing. We can fight back. And that was the, that was the question, Martin. I was just going to ask you, please. OK, well, that is the end of that interview with uh, a very passionate Martin O'Neill with uh, Tony O'Donoghue. And 